everyone uh, welcome to tech travel finance so in today's video what i want to talk about is something a bit different so um it's been uh, three and a half days today that i received uh, my uh, first dose of the pfizer biontech vaccine so uh, i'm based in london and uh, i'll share my experience so um so basically uh, i got invited through my work to uh, take my vaccine because of the kind of work i do and uh, so it was a very straightforward process so while booking, you are you if you're invited, you get a link to this uh, NHS invitation uh, sort of a page where it says uh, to you know tell a bit about yourself, whether do you have any underlying health conditions or anything like that. And uh, there comes a section where it asks you know which vaccination center you would prefer. For me, uh, I had two options: either in Wembley or uh, the one in Hillingdon. So. Uh, you will get either one or two options for your vaccination center so what happens next is uh, uh, when you fill the form uh, a section is there where it asks you for your nhs number so it says it's optional so uh, i didn't fill it in because i didn't have it uh, at hand so i booked the vaccination on wednesday around 4 4 pm so and my i got the slot the following day so come the day of the vaccination, uh, I was a little anxious. So um, I went to the hospital uh, before uh, with, you know, with plenty of time at hand. And uh, when I went there, I found out that it wasn't actually the hospital. It was the building adjoining the hospital. So they had marked it off as the vaccination center. Mm. It was paid parking. And um, I went there, there were two people uh, there to greet me. And as soon as I went, they gave me a form, which I had to fill in. And they told me to fill the form in and to uh, stand in line they asked me did i have an appointment uh, which i did so um, in the form one major thing to always keep in mind is to take your nhs number with you when you go because uh, luckily in this hospital there was a lady who could look it up for me but you know when you guys go make sure make sure that you definitely have the nhs number with you because it'll save you a lot of hassle and you know to avoid disappointment it, it, it is a must so I went there, I filled in the form, the lady looked up the NHS number for me. Uh, I waited about 30 minutes in the queue uh, with, the fo uh, with the form, there was a line with obviously with social distancing. And then I went there, I gave in the form, uh, I had to uh, take off the mask I was wearing and they gave me a fresh mask and I wore that and sanitized my hands and everything. And then um, they had divided the entire room into small cubicles. So. I went there, I was greeted by a very, very friendly and warm nurse and then she asked me, you know, has anyone in my family had COVID? Had I had COVID in the last four weeks? Have I had any symptoms? And uh, I went there and then I just got the injection and she was so good and it was so quick that before I could realize it, I had already taken the vaccine. The vaccine. So what she told me is uh, after three weeks, uh, I'm likely to get called again for the second dose. However, it's not sure yet because uh, the government wants uh, more and more people to have the first jab because after three weeks of the first jab, uh, there is the level of immunity which is developed in your body which would you know, prevent any sort of fatal complications. That's what the, uh, the medical officers here are saying. So after you've got the vaccine, vaccine so there's a one way, uh, marked arrow sort of corridor and you go there it's like a theater you go and sit there for 15 minutes uh, just to check that you have any uh, immediate side effects or anything like that and after that you're free to go and uh, so yeah i went there I, I probably sat around 10 minutes i was feeling fine so so i, I had left so uh, now i'll talk about the side effects which i experienced personally so of course it's person to person people to people but I'll tell you my personal experience so when I got the jab um, initially uh, I didn't feel much it was it wasn't painful at all but after two three hours my arms out my arms started to um, feel um, sore and it's it, it, it swole a bit as well and I was starting to get this uh, this like um, this headache but uh, this was only during the night but in the morning, the headache was gone, but my arm was sore. So that's the only sort of side effect I personally felt. Um, I'll also tell you the other common side effects. So when you go there, you'll also uh, receive a leaflet like this. 
and also a card like this confirming that you've got the vaccination so the card would have things like the name of the vaccine the batch number and the date the vaccine was given so i'll quickly go over some of the very common side effects which you may feel so the uh, pain at the injection site tiredness headache muscle pain chills joint pain and fever these are the common uh, very common side effects see here it says very common so very common side effects and the common side effects uh, which is injection site swelling redness at injection site or nausea and uncommon side effects include feeling unwell and enlarged lymph nodes and the rare side effects which is one in 1000 people are temporary one-sided facial dropping and things like that and um, there could also be an allergic reaction to a very very small minority of people so <laughs> So it's been three and a half days I have personally taken the vaccine and with God's grace I haven't experienced any of the severe side effects. My arm is a bit sore and that's about it. Uh, I would urge everyone to who has access to get the vaccine to definitely get the vaccine. Remember the more people who get vaccinated the quicker we can all come out of the pandemic. Please don't feel afraid, please don't feel scared if you uh, get a vaccine which has been approved in uh, your country for example in the uk currently we have three vaccines which have been approved and uh, a day ago two further ones are in the pipeline to be approved and one of which you just need one dose the one i got was the very first vaccine which was approved in the uk which was the pfizer biontech vaccine um, which has to be stored and transported at minus 70 degrees celsius the other vaccines include uh, which is the other vaccine which is very popularly given in the uk is the oxford vaccine so yeah so i would urge all of you to go and get the vaccine as soon as possible as soon as you're offered as soon as you can access uh, them and please stay safe and let's just hope we all uh, come out of the, come out at the other side of the pandemic thank you thank you for watching uh, please do subscribe if you haven't and do share the video with anyone who hasn't taken the vaccine yet or anyone who uh, is worried about the side effects thank you